Hi everyone, it's Monday the 12th of September. Um, I'm just going to be doing this evening gluing up this uh, bottom part of the, um, of the fuselage where the, the uh, trailing edge of the wing comes in. Um, so I'm just, uh, it's a bit awkward, I've got to get in there and sand around here just to roughen things up. I think these will be alright because of the way I've cut them, they've already been sanded, there's no, they should get good penetration of the glue but I'm just trying to get in here and here. Uh, and uh, sanded this down. You can see where I've sanded it actually just to try and take the gloss off it. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to do that. I'll bring you back in when I've done it. Um, I won't bore you with the gory details. Uh, and then uh, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the uh, wing and um, the implications of uh, whether or not I build the stronger um, version of the wing. Um, but I'll talk about that in, the, in front of the plan in a moment so you can see what my thought processes are. All right, see you in a moment. I'll just get back to doing this, mix up some glue and away we go. Hi there, well that was, uh, that was quite an interesting little bit of stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, so inside that we've got that um, kind of wedge shaped uh, piece and then the uh, this part coming down and then on top is the um, plate that sits over the top. Um, this kind of slightly strange uh, arrangement is so that I can apply pressure to the the little wooden wedgie bit um, uh, from underneath the uh, gusset plate that goes over the top. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of squeezing it together underneath this gusset plate so that the whole thing is kind of going to glue together and the gusset plate will glue on top. Um, I don't know whether I should have done that in two steps, but um, but I didn't want to. So uh, I'm doing it in one go, and it'll. I, I think that will be for the best in terms of all the all the resin and the glue will all form one sort of continuous, um, one continuous glued matrix holding it all together. So that's um, that's all good. Um, in fact, what I'll do is I'll just remind you what that all looks like inside. If I can move this, yeah. So we've got. We've got this piece here, this is being squished here, this is being squished here. That is sitting on there, glued up. And then there's the piece of ply sitting on top. So, uh, yeah, so that's that. I'm just gonna, before this, I always make too much glue. Um, before that sets off, I'm gonna just do my test piece. Um, and um, then, uh, uh, we can uh, talk about wing spars. Okay, and I'll stop there now. Hi there. So, um, yeah, I said I was going to talk about wings. Um, the uh, turbulent has an issue with its maximum all up weight, uh, which can get a little bit marginal with a fuel, uh, full fuel load and um, a pilot who is at the not at the lower end of the weight range uh, so um, it has uh, been suggested that it would be a good idea to build the version of the uh, main spar which has been reinforced to give a um, obviously it adds a little bit of weight itself but it gives a, um, a higher maximum takeoff weight Overall, so you have a bit more, um, a bit more leeway uh, for different pilots. I mean, I'm not the biggest guy. I, I, I have a feeling I haven't. It's a simple calculation, but I haven't done it yet. I've got a feeling I'd probably be pretty much okay. I've got the statue of someone who came from the 1950s, um, but people have got bigger over time. So, so the actual mod itself. I'm just thinking, making sure you can you can see that. So the 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 spar um, the as far as I understand it the original spar was just a plain uh, was was the same uh, width as this all the way through fifty three mil um, and the mod which uh, confusingly it says not to be fitted on home built aircraft um, I don't know why uh, the mod is a reinforcing um, piece of material that as far as I can tell runs the full depth of the spar across the center section 
um, and it adds 15 mil each side. It's the 13 mil thickness of material plus two mil ply facing. Uh, so that means that your spar as it runs through the, the, the fuselage is now, um, well it starts off 53, it's now um, 83 uh, millimeters wide because you've got 15 extra on each side. Um, as far as I can tell from these plans, can you see, yeah, you can see where I'm looking at. Um, the position of this frame here, which is kind of like a U shape. I can't find the drawing for it. It's, it's in the workshop somewhere, but it's a sort of a U shaped wooden, um, kind of wooden frame with two legs at the sides and a, and a, a, a box at the bottom. This frame here, which is what the wing bolts to, the main spar runs through here. This position is based on the uh, traditional spar. So, um, so you want to keep the wing in the same, in my view, you want to keep the wing in the same relative position. You can't move it forward, you don't really want to move it forward or back because that will change the balance of the aircraft. You're changing the centre of lift and therefore the center of uh, the position of the center of gravity relative to the center of lift would change so i want to keep i want to keep the center line if you like the center of the spar in the same place which means that i think this frame needs to move forward by 15 mil uh, so yeah because and th there's an, an extra 15 mil on the back side and that will need to be accounted for um, by adapting the um, ribs, the the few first few ribs. Uh, I'm not sure I can see them here, but rib, yeah, kind of one, two. Oh, there we go. One, two, three, and four. Maybe one, two, and three um, will need to be adapted. That's no big deal. Um, so yeah, so I've I've contacted the LAA. I haven't had a, any response from them as yet, but I'm my thinking is that this frame here will need to move forward. It will make very very little difference to the. We need to shorten this piece. Um, this piece would probably will just um, because if we don't if we don't adapt this, that that point there will actually move kind of straight forward. So this piece there'll be a tiny change in the angle. That it meets the um, bottom of that, um, but I think I think that will be fine. I don't think that small movement will make a massive difference. Uh, is there anything else that needs to be thought about? Yeah, I just I, I, yeah I think that will be fine. Um, everything will be fifteen millimeters further away that's connected up to that part of the aircraft. Um, but yes, I think I don't think that's a major issue. Um, I have contacted the LEA to find out whether, um, as I said earlier, whether there's any um, any official mod uh, guidance on this, and I haven't heard back yet. So um, I, I, we'll we'll wait and see. Um, nothing. Uh, nothing. I don't think anything that I've done up until now will be affected by this. So. Um, uh, I'm okay for now. I just need to, I, I do need to bottom that out before I before I start gluing um, the parts that fix this piece in position and um, uh, yeah because I may need to I may need to move this point forward a little bit. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe even then it won't matter. But yeah, so that's where I am at. Um, I guess I've just got to let my. Uh, let my my glue joints set back there with all those clamps on it. Um, I've realized that I'm using those clamping pieces, uh, those packing pieces to help with the clamping. They are gonna glue themselves to the fuselage. I'm not that bothered. Uh, it's a bit like when you build a ship, you weld on big pieces to support it while it's in the dry dock and then um, you, you cut the, the divers cut them off when, when you've launched it. Um, I can, uh, I'm actually I'm fairly happy with those um, packing pieces gluing themselves onto the fuselage. I can carefully cut them off and sand away any any residual bits afterwards. I'd rather they were doing their job properly and uh, and made sure everything was uh, kept in the right place while that was glued together. So 
So I'm okay with that. Um, but I'll let you know how that goes. Maybe that'll be a, a complete nightmare and I've made a massive mistake, but I think I'll probably be okay. I'm used to mistakes. Okay, that'll do for now. Um, see you on the next one, I guess. Uh, yeah, keep safe, take care and bye-bye.